SCADA is the mission-critical system that industries such as power utilities, transport, oil and gas rely on for safe, smooth operations management. Due to the technology's long lifespan, many of these systems are still utilizing legacy TDM interfaces. With TDM equipment and services being discontinued, these SCADA systems are at risk of being stranded by the latest advances in communication technologies. These legacy SCADA systems need to coexist with and be supported by IP MPLS, the next generation packet-based networking technology. Migrating TDM traffic from an existing SCADA system to a new IP MPLS network ensures these old systems are still supported during the transition. Doing this means overcoming three key migration challenges. Firstly, connecting to the legacy interface on SCADA servers and RTUs. Secondly, transporting and bridging the SCADA traffic. And thirdly, securing the traffic. So, how do we securely transition to packet-based networks while still supporting TDM SCADA traffic? Nokia's extensive experience and unique solutions help you simplify the path to full SCADA migration. We offer two options to connect and terminate the legacy interface on the SCADA equipment. Direct connection, where the router directly connects to the SCADA equipment or connection via a T1 or E1 interface on the existing TDM multiplexer. Once the connection is made, the next challenge is transporting legacy SCADA traffic over the new IP MPLS network. TDM Pseudowire, a packetization technology, achieves this by riding over the resilient and quality of service enabled label switched path, providing point-to-point -point connectivity between the SCADA server and an RTU. As SCADA relies on point-to-multipoint communications, a bridging capability in the IP MPLS network is crucial. Our 7705 service aggregation router family has technology unique to the market, offering built-in bridging and enabling seamless migration of legacy SCADA traffic. The bridging solution also offers SCADA server redundancy protection, simultaneously sending received SCADA traffic from remote RTUs to both the active and standby servers, with backup operation centers also making geo-redundancy possible. And with an increase in cyber attacks, addressing the third challenge of security has never been more important. The IP MPLS network is inherently secure with label switched path tunnels. Isolated VPNs also ensure your information is less vulnerable. Additional security methods, such as encryption and firewalls, can further secure all traffic using cutting edge technology. Our solution meets not only the three migration requirements, but it is also proven in the field, offering deterministic quality of service and strong resiliency, while reliably and securely carrying mission-critical data in over 500 networks around the world. Nokia, network infrastructure innovators and pioneers.